Hi, welcome back to Mouse People. How's everybody doing? Does anybody have the itch to do some Disney shopping? Well then this is the video for you because I have a Walt Disney World haul today. And we were just in Walt Disney World uh, for our spring break and we didn't plan on purchasing a lot and I don't know if it is a lot. You, you can tell me afterwards or maybe don't tell me. <laughs> Um, but we did get some fun things and I wanted to share them with you today. So grab yourself a mug of hot tea and get comfortable and let's shop Disney. Mm. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is a couple things we got at Target in preparation for our trip. We saw these shirts and they were in the boys department and so Noah and Abe decided to get matching shirts to wear to Toy Story Land. And then they also decided that dad needed a shirt. No sign of intelligent life anywhere. So that is a lot of fun to have uh, shirts that are specific to wear to a park. And this isn't specific to Toy Story Land, but I did get a Dumbo tank top at Target. And I thought that was really cute. There's a lot of details in that so that was another shirt that I took uh, to wear I like that it had uh, Casey Jr. train at the top but now moving on to items that we got actually in Walt Disney World humor too um, we also got some shirts there are a couple shirts at Disney that are very popular and also shirts that are delish that are the new for food shirts so I picked out sweet with the mini cupcake and the word sweet on it. And my husband got this one to wear, salty. <laughs> it's got the Mickey pretzel. And I love that the pretzel has the bits of salt on it. So that was really fun. We um, wore those at Magic Kingdom and got a few pictures in them. Um, we've never done like couple shirts or anything before. So uh, it was pretty fun to, to have that and um, just to enjoy it as a little, little silly. Um, we don't usually buy a lot of clothing or shirts at Disney either. So it was nice to have a couple things from Target that were, you know, didn't break the bank. And then we did get a, a couple things there. Um, one of the things we visited was the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. And look at this wonderful turvis. This is actually made by Turvis. And it has an opening like this. So you can sip out of it or a straw would fit in there. And it also um, latches on this side, which is really nice. And it's metal. Let me pop the top off so you can see in there. I have a little directions card. So it's metal. And I really like the metal. I feel like it keeps like ice water. I can have that sitting out. It says uh, eight hours hot and 24 hours cold. So that's really impressive. But let me give you a look at the logo. It is Mickey and Friends and it is the Seed Company. And then you got the logo for the 2019 festival. And then there's flowers and fruits and vegetables on here. And when you feel it in person, it, you can feel like the texture of the mug. But I love the, the stainless steel, the silver look, along with uh, the gloss of the, of the Mickey and all of the decorations. So I was really excited to uh, find this. This was um, $34.99 and we use our uh, Disney Vacation Club member discount or the annual pass holder discount. It's the same 20% and 20% makes a big difference. Um, Turvis mugs are pretty pricey anyway so to find like the metal one with Disney and then also special event merchandise um, yeah, you're gonna pay a little bit more, but we didn't buy this when we first saw it. We went around the whole festival and then we came back to it and uh, and picked one up. And I'm glad we did, cause uh, we'll all use it. We'll all take turns using it. So that was a, a pretty, pretty fun item to get. Um, the next thing I'll show you is something very fun. This is a new little necklace that I purchased. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Can you see it? It's the claw with the little green man on it. So it almost goes to like like a Y necklace almost. And then you get the, the claw and the little green man. 
he's really sweet on there. And he's decorated in the back and the front and he can swing around, he's holding on to the claw. And it's an adjustable necklace, which is always nice because then you can wear it with your, your neckline. Um, the price on this is at $19.99, but again, we used our, our discount. And um, I just think he, he's great. I wore him already to uh, Toy Story Land when they had their t-shirts and I wore my alien ears and uh, the alien claw necklace. So it was a lot of fun. One thing that we brought home is a Mickey Rice Krispy Treat bar. Uh, this one, they sell them packaged different, like packaged sealed in the gift shop, but then this one was actually from um, the counter service in our resort. So that was uh, fun. I was glad to bring it home. And I had to do this video right away because I can't wait. <laughs> I want to eat the Rice Krispie Treat. So that was fun to bring home. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is that we purchased some magic bands. This was a first for us. We had never purchased magic bands. We had always used uh, the ones that Disney sends for staying at the resort. Uh, but I'd love to give you a, a closer look at these. So this one is uh, Brian's and it is a great color of blue and it's actually the Disney Vacation Club. And then let me show you the other side. And so it is a lot of fun and it, it looks really sharp um, on, so really nice. So that is uh, one of them. And then um, Noah purchased a magic band. That was one of the things that he wanted to get and we'll be using these again. Um, we have uh, a trip planned in the summer and then we also have a trip planned in December. So they'll be using these again. So what a unique shade of blue, I think he, did a great job picking this out. It's Slinky Dog Dash in Toy Story Land. And then the other side has more of Slinky Dog's coils and his little legs and feet. So that is really, really neat. Um, with the kids' magic bands, you can um, separate the color from the gray and pull the gray part off to make it smaller. But I find that it's actually too small then, and we also prefer the look of the gray around it. So I actually use scissors and just trim off the excess, and I do that for my magic band as well, so you don't have all that extra like doubled up underneath. All right, this next one is Abraham's, and he picked this out as a reward for something that he was working on at home. He got to pick out a reward at Disney, and what a great one you've got. Donald and Chip and Dale and they've got popcorn <laughs> and then on the other side it has the year and you've got Pluto and Mickey and Goofy and it, again just great colors and lots of you know details around the uh, the magic portion of it so that was something that um, we had never got before but we were pretty excited and it was a uh, very easy to link them to the my Disney experience account so that they were activated while we were there a great cast member helped us do that uh, right there in the shop and then we were able to use them so they were pretty excited to just scan them for their first uh, fast pass after picking out their magic bands so that was fun one of the items that I was excited about are these, excuse me, these are Zoom Zooms and they're Mickey's 90th and I just really like the aesthetic of Mickey's 90th. I like his birthday hat and his bow tie and his colors and you can see that they even have 90 on here. I'm not a big Zoom Zoom collector, I have um, a couple of them, but I thought that these matched um, the larger plush that I have that I did an unboxing with that uh, a few videos ago and I just really enjoy the Mickey's 90th. He's got his little tail and look at this thing is hilarious. He's got those like brruh, brruh, that you blow little party favors. So um, these were uh, really neat. I got these in Magic Kingdom and uh, at the Curtain Call Collectibles, the store right by where you can meet Mickey and Minnie. It's like right on the entrance. Um, so it's not a shop I had frequented, but I saw on the Disney Parks Shop Parks app that that was one place that they carried them. So uh, we made a special trip there uh, to pick those up. All right, another souvenir that Abraham picked out is this awesome pen. 
and it's got the Luxo ball on the top and it's got different scenes from different Pixar movies and it's got a great feel to it when you click the ball it just has a very satisfying click so that's a really neat pen and Noah picked out this pen it has all the different colors including the black so you click on a color and then you click on a different color and it releases the first one so lots of fun to have all these different colors and then all the mickeys on here so fun so it's something that's a nice souvenir it's also uh, usable too all right something not very usable well a little bit usable that i purchased i wanted to show you it came in two packages i got this at one of the popcorn stands and I, it was actually at animal kingdom and this is my first time taking it out let me take the packaging off <laughs> It is the little green man and the claw. He's the chosen one. And it's, <laughs> I love how the claw is holding him. And it comes with this clip, a plastic clip. So you could use it to put on to a bag or anything. Uh, but what it was really being marketed at, since it was at the popcorn stand, let me get the packaging off here. Ooh was it, it was being marketed as um, a straw. <laughs> you would use the straw in your drink and then uh, the alien would be, be on there. So <laughs> it's funny, um, but I thought it'd be cute to hang on something. I don't know, maybe I'll try him as a straw, but I probably won't keep him on there. <laughs> He's a fun little, fun little guy. All right, something else that we purchased was Goofy's Candy Company, and you can see that we've already uh, busted into this. If you've never had these particular candies, they're called Character Gummies, and I'll show you what they look like. They're a little bit addictive, and <laughs> they come in all different um, flavors and there's Mickey and Minnie and they're so soft and fresh and they are so good. Oh, they smell good. So if you like gummies, if you like gummy candy or gummy bears, then you would definitely enjoy these. So we couldn't resist and we busted into these, but we usually bring a bag of some kind of candy home uh, to eat on the plane because um, sometimes you get delayed or you get stuck and you just want to uh, have a little treat on the plane. So um, that's what we did. Uh, one little thing that I brought home, I don't know if you guys do this too, but um, at the resort you get a little notepad, which is so handy to write things down, and then they also give you a little pen. It's just a big pen and it just says uh, Walt Disney World on it, but I usually just bring them home. Uh, it's nice to write little notes on, and then the pen I usually take to work for, I have a cup of spare pens for students to use, and so it's fun just to have one that says uh, Walt Disney World. All right, here is another souvenir that Abraham purchased with his money. And this was a great rainy day souvenir. Uh, it's actually a deck of cards and it comes in a plastic little case and I'll open it up and show you. It has um, this great vibrant graphic on the front and then um, here's the cards. So you can just kind of see what they look like here. Um, the uh, main cards, like the, what are they called? Not face cards, but the have different park icons on them. Um, we've actually been playing with them. There's uh, Magic Kingdom. We had a, a washout of rain where we decided to delay a little bit. The radar showed that it was going to be passing by in about an hour. So we uh, enjoyed playing uh, Go Fish in the Room for a little while. And Epcot has is from the Queen. Yeah, so that was fun. So that's a great souvenir. It's nice to have things that are usable, that are um, things that you would you know use and and have as a as a family. So that was uh, that was fun. Um, this little next item is also a usable item, and I've actually had this for a while, but I purchased a second one when we were in Disney for our friend Reagan, and I actually gave it to her today, and it has a clip on it. And it's sold by the sunglasses and out pops a glasses cleaning case or a glasses cleaning um, cloth. 
So it's just a square of that special fabric that doesn't scratch, uh, but I love that it hooks on and that it has Mickey on there. So then when you've used it to wipe the rain off your glasses or the snow off your glasses here in Ohio, or if you get wet on Splash Mountain, which we did, then you have a way to clean off your glasses and then it all just tucks right back in. I've even washed this um, before too. So um, this is fun and it's a little item that you can buy on the uh, rack where sunglasses are and sunglasses cases and straps and stuff. We got this at the resort. So fun. Another cute little item I purchased and I actually first saw this on um, uh, Dana's channel if you watch the Mouse Diva. Uh, she had this and I thought it was so cute. It's Disney's Vacation Club and it looks like a little backpack. It has a carabiner clip on it so you could hook it on and then it unzips or zips and then you can uh, you know put something in there. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. And uh, I like when things hook on to other things um, because it's it's just useful. You can tuck little things into that. Okay, so how are we doing? You still with me? We've got a lot of uh, fun things to, to share with you today. One of the things that we got was a Dole Whip. The Dole Whip is a keychain and it is so cute. And I actually put it on my snacks and treats backpack and had a fun uh, time uh, just wearing that because I just uh, think it's really clever. <laughs> they had a whole line of magnets and keychains and different items with the dual Whip and the Mickey bar and all the pretzels and the waffles. So it's really fun because we do enjoy the Disney snacks. So it was really fun to see that. Whew. But I think I'm gonna wrap it up there and I think that maybe we need to uh, do part two of the haul because there's a lot of things to show you. Let me get a sip of tea and um, we will say good day for now and join me for part two of this haul. Thanks for stopping by. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and please consider hitting the subscribe button and leave a comment down below and let me know so far what is your favorite item from this haul. Smile and have a great week.